So go really slow on that kind of stuff. Understand the world is watching us. And I like a guy who thinks before he speaks. I really do. <laughs> I really do. I think we've got the smartest president we've had in maybe 100 years. Amazing stuff. Thank you. It's masquerading as a state. There is no ideology. And then there's a bunch of guys in the Pentagon all jacked up about Georgia. Okay? And I said quite cynically, as a grand strategist, Georgia was more of a turn on than a turn off. Because we complain all our allies won't go anywhere and defend anything or kill anybody. And this is the first guy who does it. And of course, he mimics everything we did in Iraq. He said, hey, buddy, I thought the answer was you declare him a terrorist, you go in, you beat him down, and yeah, if there's an energy play on the far side, great. <laughs> you know, what did I do wrong? You see that Putin press conference where he sat there for three hours kind of going, I thought this is how great powers behave. I thought, you know, what is your problem with this? So, you know, Putin is Andrew Jackson, basically. <laughs> Made his mark in national security. He's brutal to his enemies. He rewards his friends with largesse. He is totally the spoil system. Okay, he has no problem with ethnic cleansing. Neither did Jackson, Trail of Tears, Mississippi, Alabama. Okay, Jackson was going to make America powerful on the basis of what he had. Didn't care about slavery, he wanted cotton. By 1850, we controlled 70% of the cotton market. Okay, he was a tough nut. Putin is the same thing. He sees his capacity to make Russia strong, oil and gas. Okay, remember this country is 18 years old and it behaves like it. Okay, so some patience, realize they're going to be like this. Realize this country has no ideology right now. This is the Godfather personified. It's nothing personal. This is strictly business. <laughs> okay? So they take away Manaz, the Air Force Base in Kyrgyzstan. And they take away, and then they offer us a land route through Russia. You know? They're being very clear here. I consider myself important. Give me a seat at the table. I say respect that. Show some humility. Do the same thing with the Indians and their concern on Pakistan. Because they suffer in Mumbai about every 18.